So the HPV vaccine or human papillomavirus vaccine that currently is available in the United States uh, protects against nine different types of HPVs that people can be infected with, two of which cause genital warts, but seven of which are associated with 85% of cervical cancers, as well as other types of head and neck and anogenital genital cancers. And these are infections that three quarters of us get over our lifetime. So most of us get these infections and these types of infections are required to actually initiate and progress to cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is the fourth most common type of cancer in women worldwide. And uh, receiving this vaccine before you get infected basically protects you from getting cervical cancer over your lifetime. The HPV vaccines have been approved in the United States uh, for males and females from the age of nine all the way to the age of 45. And receiving the vaccine before you've been exposed is the most important. It protects you from getting an infection. If you get an infection, it helps you clear that more quickly. And it decreases risk of having disease develop, become precancerous lesions or become cancerous lesions uh, later in your lifetime. Uh, the younger you are to receive the vaccine, the better your antibody response is. So it's really important to get your vaccine early. And if you get your vaccine before the age of 15, you only need two doses. And so far there haven't been any signs that you need to get a booster. And we've been following people for more than 16 years uh, with that information so far. The HPV vaccine uh, only includes the outer protein of the virus, not the inner proteins or the DNA that contains the cancer-causing genes that are in HPV. And those uh, outside proteins of the virus is what your body reacts really robustly to and makes antibodies to. Um, so the vaccine does not contain any of the components that would cause cancer or initiate cancer or even initiate an infection of HPV. So it's a very safe vaccine to receive, and it can really give you many, many years, if not a full lifetime of protection against uh, the seven types of HPV that cause cervical cancer and other anogenital cancers. Um, these are cancers that people can have as women, but then there are other cancers like head and neck cancers in, in the United States that are actually more common than cervical cancer. And so when we think about types of cancers that we wanna protect, men and women against, HPV is right up there. HPV is associated with 5% of all cancers that people have. And so the ability to protect ourselves against a cancer that could kill a loved one, a parent, um, leaving children and young adults without their parents as they go through life is really something that is fantastic and is something that is uh, an important public health measure that we have to protect our children now and ultimately then when they become parents and grandparents in the future.